Okay, so uh, let me just share my screen and we will. Uh, Okay, um, think. Okay, let me just share it again. Okay, so I hope you can see it. So now let's just start by uh, uh Anybody, uh, I want you to raise your hand and share your understanding about the challenge. Just share, raise your hand and like, try to uh, tell us what you understand about the challenge and have you gone through it. Uh, I am not David, right? So, uh, so let, let's just uh, hear from you guys what you understand about the challenge. Okay, go on, my life. All right. Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yeah, you are. All right. So, I'm not sure if the material was sent to us. Uh, I didn't see this material. I, I don't think it was shared. Yeah, it was shared on the resource folder on on Slack. So, so for any of you that didn't actually get the document, it is it is shared in the Slack folder in the all resources channel. Okay, so uh, anybody else who can share their understanding? Okay, go on, Kakiri. Am I audible? Yeah, you. Okay, uh, so after going through the challenge document for this week, uh, I. Okay.
Hello. Uh, you were breaking up. Okay. Okay. So uh, network problem. So through my understanding, what we're supposed to do for uh, this week is go through uh, data sets, which is uh, related to news, uh, uh, financial news uh, about different stocks and different companies. So after going through this uh, data set, I guess what we're expected to do is to um, Mm, come up with uh, some kind of predictive model that could be used in the future to determine stock prices depending on uh, uh, depending on news that came up before uh, the stock price adjustments uh, and so after uh, doing an analysis we are supposed to recommend uh, to this, uh, no, so to the company called Nova Solutions, what to do uh, after uh, or how does news how does news affect uh, price stock prices, and what uh, what should be the actions following uh, those news? Uh, this is my understanding in short. Uh, okay, uh, that's great. Uh, anybody else? And also, thank you, Julie, Julie Worku, for sharing standing. Okay, I'll just go on. Since we we have almost fifteen minutes past, so yeah, let's just start. Okay, so uh, now the actual business objective is, uh, as explained earlier, is just to analyze and understand the, the financial news data provided, and from that you can actually create a sentiment analysis and. After the sentiment analysis part, you can create a correlation analysis. So these are the main objective of this challenge, this week's challenge. So uh, for the sentiment part, you will use the news headline. This is article. I mean, we will just use headline here, and yeah, and we don't have article title for this one, so we just take the headline part. So from the headline, you will. Uh, you will page you will do sentiment analysis in it and also the stocks involved here represents the stock column in your data set so uh, for the sentiment analysis part that's the objective and for the correlation part you we we want you to we want you guys to actually understand what was the correlation between the news and also the price movements or the stock movements. So Nova Financial Solution it just aims to enhance its predictive analysis capabilities. So we want to actually do uh, let's say there is a news coming up uh, in a few hours. So based on that, we want to be we want to have a predictive analytics which is compatible to that. So, that's the main objective of Nova Financial Solutions. So we are, you assume you are a data analysis analyst at Nova Financial Solutions, and your task is just to conduct analysis on the news data set and also the data set that you have to fetch from by finance. So, so this is the general objective. And yeah, and also our uh, the data set have around five columns. So we have headline, URL, publisher, date, and stock. So the headline just represents the article release headline. So for every article, there is a headline or a title. So that's what headline represents. And the URL is the direct link to the news. And publisher is the author or the creator of that article. And the date is the publication date. It's, just, we, it's used in UTC uh, four times zone, so you can adjust it in a, in however way you want. And the stock is stock tick stickers, uh, stock ticker symbol, which is uh, so. For example, as uh, as I mentioned here, let's just say example. We will have for Apple if it's Apple, we will have I think AAPL, 
so that will be for up. So we, we the symbols are so we, we it will it starts with A and it keeps moving on. So yeah, and the we have uh, in this uh, challenge we uh, aim for you guys to improve your data analytics engineering skills, your machine learning skills, and also with Python programming skills. So for <clears throat> then we will have, you will have as two submissions since it's week one. Uh, in, on week zero, we, you only have one submission, so which was on Thursdays. But for this one, we will have two submissions. So the challenge introduction is what's happening right now, and we will have interim submission on uh, HPM UTC time on Wednesday uh, on first of May, and we will have you will have final submission on uh, 8 p.m. UTC Saturday, 4th of May. So, yeah. and we will have the following tasks. I'll just go through each and every task. So the first is just as uh, previous week, you will have uh, a project set up or uh, setting up your project environment. So for example, now you will set up Python environment, so you will set up Git, and also you will set up CI CD. And also, you will, we uh, suggest you follow this structure because it, it's uh, it's a recommended folder structure. So, and for the EDA part, we want you guys to understand the data and also perform some uh, EDA, and also we want to understand what your uh, statistical analysis or statistical thinking lies on. So, uh, you the main uh, EDA would be uh, distributive statistics on the headline or on the text objects, or also as uh, you can count the headline or you can do some other text analysis on it. And for the next part would be using uh, using sentiment analysis to, um, to the, your target would be sentiment analysis on the headline. So your outcome would be positive, negative, and neutral and you will do time series analysis for sentiment or for frequencies any any feasible time series analysis would be done in, in this task and also you'll do publisher analysis so what were the top 10 publishers or what uh, in each publisher what was the sentiment on and also sentiment distribution in in the top 10 and in, in top 10 publishers so you will have an idea while you look at the data, you will, you will have an idea on how to uh, do a publisher analysis. On task two, we want you to go to Y Finance GitHub page and uh, that you will find uh, there is in Pandas, there is a, a library Pandas data loader. So by using Pandas data loader, you will fetch uh, each stock symbols, uh, stock movement or price movement on each day using Y finance. So the main objective of this is to for you guys to actually fetch the data and you'll do quantitative analysis on it later on. So for uh, the task, uh, how you proceed would be first you load and prepare your data. So by load and prepare, it means just uh, you, you will actually uh, get stock symbols from the CSV that is provided. And after that, you 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 have to calculate the earliest and the latest date for each stock. So, for example, let's say we uh, for particular stock symbol, we have a ten days span of news. So, for you will have the earliest, the first day, and the last day, which is a tenth day. You will have that, and use you use Y Finance to actually fetch the the results or the stock movement of that particular stock symbol. So that's it. And for the task three, you, you will have to do quantitative analysis using finance and TLE. So the references are there. So you just go there and look at, you, you know, now you have the data. So you already prepared your data. And next would be to perform uh, analysis on analysis indicators using TLE and also uh, use finance for financial metrics. So go to the references, go to the GitHub page and after checking all uh, all the required uh, things there, you just 
to the analysis, quantitative analysis using those. So the next would be correlation. The next task is correlation between news and stock movement. So now uh, you have news. So you have the news and also you have the stock movement data. So now what, what we want you to do is first you have to align the date and also you have to get the sentiment analysis for that particular row. So for example, by, by aligning me, so you are checking for uh, April 29. So the news has to be on April 29. So you have to actually uh, align those dates and also you have to calculate the daily stock returns and also perform a correlation on that. So what was, uh, so let's say the stock return is has some, some value and we have some uh, sentiment bias or sentiment scores. So what we want is, or what you guys should do, should achieve here is to perform or to see the relation between the stock movement and the sentiment scores. So yeah, and we will have to create branch as always, and also make sure to commit your commit messages as descriptive as possible. And also if you have to normalize dates, you have to normalize them. And and also you have to compute daily returns. And all, of, all the required tutorials will be given in each uh, task and in each concept so you will have uh, you will have some absolute reference and if you want to do it prior to the tutorials make sure to go through all the references so yeah and the due dates are uh, as, uh, as I've mentioned earlier we have uh, we have an interim submission on Wednesday and a final submission on Saturday so github uh, report and I mean it's a link and you will have an interim report and for the final submission we will have uh, a github uh, you'll submit a github link and also your final report yeah and yeah let's just have a discussion on what I have just explained and if you have any question you can just raise your hand and I will clear up any confusion Okay, so, uh, so on for the tutorials part, we will have uh, on, on today's afternoon, we will have stock market data and stock market analysis given by Kerod. And uh, tomorrow, you will have introduction to Y Finance, Finance, and TLIP given by Yaya. And time series analysis will be on Tuesday afternoon, will be given by Reddit. And on Wednesday, we will have introduction to quantitative analysis and that would be on uh, given by EIA and in the afternoon we'll have a, key, a quick uh, Q&A and on Thursday we will have a uh, correlation analysis which will be given by Kerot and on day five which is Friday we will have another Q&A okay so uh, Okay, for Daniel's question, how do we how do we know the sentiment, the data for it is not given? So you have to uh, you have to get the sentiment from the headline. So we have a news headline. So if that if that news headline is positive, has a positive sentiment, you will have positive sentiment. If not, or so it has a neutral or negative. So you have to uh, do the sentiment analysis by you by yourself. So no, it's not based on the stock value. So we that's what we want to know. So if what what is the sentiment or what is the news has what is the effect of the news on the stock symbols or on those on the values on the return values that's what that's the main objective of this challenge and at the end you we want to we want you guys to come up with a, a strategy or a way to improve our nova financial solutions predictive analysis
So what are the abbreviations in the stock symbol? I, I, I have explained it earlier. It represents a company. So each symbol is given to a particular unique company. So as I uh, explained, AAPL represents Apple. And we have, uh, you can actually Google it and check each stock symbols. So we have APL and you, if, you want to check so you can just google a stock symbol or a stock ticker and what is a for a stands for for which company so you'll just get it and you don't need to understand for which company and for what company you just have to uh, get the prices of that particular stock symbol so is that clear Danny? Okay, for my question, and uh, each task is totally separated. So, uh, for last week's submission, even if it's a bit, if it's the best, that that doesn't mean you have a guarantee you will be. That will be the best submission. So try to follow the structures we provided, and yeah, just try to follow the structures that is provided in the challenge document. Uh, okay, so Murat, does that answer your question? Okay, so at the end, we are supposed to come up with a model which could predict the stock values in the new center. In the new center. No, we don't want that. But that shouldn't be enough. We want a strategy. We, we don't want a model. We want some strategy, given that a stock symbol and a, a given uh, news headline, how do we perform analysis? Uh, the data set we have given you is not enough to train a model. So that, that, that's not uh, an, uh, an efficient solution. So just try to come up with a strategy given that uh, there is a new symbol. Just We just want you to understand the correlation between the sentiment and also the stock movement. So it might have a positive sentiment or a direct relation, which means for a positive uh, sentiment, we might, have, uh, we might get a higher stock prices or we might get lower, or we might get uh, the same values as yesterday, or we might see a, like a little movement, which is not a substantial movement. So we just want you guys to understand what is the effect of the, what is the effect of the news or the sentiment from the news on the stock price. And we, we want a strategy for that. So, Merit, um, yeah, so every week is going to be a new week, just as Nathaniel said. So, we just want you to focus on this week. So, we already provided everything you need uh, to succeed in every week on the document challenge. We provide the structure that's based and we provide how to set up your 
Python environment and everything. So last week's uh, answers or so solutions are not going to be that much valuable for this week. But however, uh, we do uh, we do select the best uh, sol solutions in, in a sense, the best GitHub uh, or the best report where we will not nominate it and uh, we will uh, announce it on the, le the leaderboard so you can che check it out there but if there is one if there is none uh, there we, we will not do, do that but uh, we just want you to focus on this doc the document and we will provide everything you need to succeed i hope that makes sense Okay, so I think the silence just represents you understood it well or you didn't understood it at all. So, uh, can you guys give me uh, feedback on that so you understand it or totally don't, didn't understand it? Okay, uh, let's just uh, end our session here, and if you guys have any question, you can ask on Slack. Thank you.